Hi students, this is Vukumar, 11th Standard Mathematics, uh, Chapter Number 3, Continuation of Exercise 3.8. Now problem number 2. Solve the following equations for which solutions lie in the interval 0 degree less than or equal to theta less than 360 degree. Look at the symbol here, less than or equal to care less than. That means including 0 degree and excluding 360 degree. Four subdivisions are there, we can do one by one. Here is subdivision number one, sine for 4x equals sine squared x. You must be knowing that one, in first quadrant, uh, the solution theta that is equal to alpha, in second quadrant, theta that is equal to 180 minus alpha, in third quadrant, theta that is equal to alpha minus 180, and fourth quadrant, the solution theta that is equal to minus alpha. 0 degree to 360, 0 to 360, anti-clockwise direction, full of positive angles, positive direction, for positive direction, okay. Now, sin power 4 x that is equal to sin squared x. You are not supposed to cancel sin squared x here because x is a solution here, so that it should be taken to the left hand side, sin power 4 x minus sin squared x that is equal to 0. Now, you can take sin squared x as common. If you take sin squared x as common, you will be getting sin squared x minus 1 that is equal to 0. Product of these two equals 0 means either sin squared x equal to 0 or sin squared x minus 1 equals 0. Now, consider that is case 1. Case 1, I take sin squared x that is equal to 0. Taking square root on both sides we will be getting sin x that is equal to 0 square root of sin squared x is sin x and square root of 0 is 0 only now if sin x equal to 0 you know the general solution x that is equal to n pi where n belongs to set of all integers here <coughs> set of all integers that's so all negative numbers positive numbers including 0 that is set of all integers but we can consider only positive numbers because if we consider one negative number I consider n that is equal to minus 1 minus 1 into pi minus pi so minus pi that is minus 180 degree it does not lie in this interval so we have to consider only positive value including 0 ok I take 0 then n that is equal to 0, x that is equal to, if we replace n by 0, 0 into pi that is equal to 0. Then, n that is equal to 1, if we replace x by 1, 1 into pi, pi. 0 in radian or you can write 0 degree or pi can be replaced by 180 degrees. 0 degrees and 180 degree both lie in this interval. So, both can be considered. But no chance of taking n that is equal to 2. If we take n that is equal to 2, if we replace n by 2, 2 into pi, 2 pi. 2 pi that is equal to 360 degree. 360 degree is excluded here because you are given strictly less than. So, it can go up to 1 only. So, we have double solution. Now, <coughs> sin squared x minus 1 equal to 0. Case number 2. Case number 2. sin squared x minus 1 equal to 0 which implies sin squared x that is equal to plus 1 minus 1 comes right hand side plus 1 taking square root on both sides. Now if you take square root the sin squared x square root is sin x since we have square we have to introduce plus or minus square root of 1 that is equal to 1. So sin x that is equal to 1 or sin x that is equal to minus 1. sin x that is equal to 1 and sin x that is equal to minus 1. For sin x equals 1, this can be replaced by sin pi by 2. You know very well, sin 90 that is equal to 1, sin 270 that is equal to minus 1. So, sin x that is equal to sin pi by 2, which implies x that is equal to pi by 2 or you can see 90 degrees here sin x that is equal to we have minus 1 the minus 1 can be replaced by 3 pi by 2 because sin 270 that is equal to minus 1 
which implies x that is equal to 3 pi by 2 or we can say that is 270 degree. Finally, write the solution. Solution. Uh, you write them in order. So, here we have uh, two angles, one is 0 degree and one 80 degree and here 90 degree and 270 degree. So, we can write them in order 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree and 270 degree. So, I have represented the angles in degrees even you can write the rep you can represent the angles in radian 0 degree that is 0, 90 degree that is pi by 2, 180 degree that is pi, 270 that is 3 pi by 2 that is the solution. Okay. So, subdivision 1 is over now subdivision number 2. Here we have second subdivision. So, write 2 cos squared x, it comes left hand side plus 3 cos x plus 1 that is equal to 0. Okay. It is a quadratic equation in terms of cos x, it can be splitting the middle terms, you can go for factorization. The coefficient of cos squared x is 2, 2 should be multiplied with the constant 1, 2, 1 are 2 and the coefficient of cos x that is equal to 3. Product 2, sum 3, the two numbers are 2 and 1, 2 and 1. Right here, uh, 2 cos squared x plus 3 cos x can be written as 2 cos x plus 1 cos x plus 1 that is equal to 0. Here, grouping, first and second, you can take 2 cos x as common. If you take 2 cos x as common, you will be getting cos x plus 1. Here, nothing common, you take 1 into cos x plus 1 that is equal to 0. Here between these two you can take cos x plus 1 as common. If you take cos x plus 1 as common, you will be getting 2 cos x plus 1. 2 cos x plus 1 that is equal to 0. So, product of these two equals 0 means cos x plus 1 equal to 0 or 2 cos x plus 1 that is equal to 0. Now, case 1. I consider cos x plus 1 equal to 0 cos x plus 1 equal to 0 means cos x that is equal to plus 1 comes right hand side minus 1 you know very well cos 180 that is equal to minus 1 which implies cos x that is equal to cos pi. So, x that is equal to pi or we can write 180 degrees that is case number 1 over. Now, case number 2, 2 cos x plus 1 equals 0. Case 2. 2 cos x plus 1 equals 0. So, 2 cos x that is equal to plus 1 comes right hand side minus 1 which implies cos x that is equal to minus 1 by 2. Since cos x is negative, cos x negative in which quadrant? Here, all positive, sine positive and cosecant positive in second quadrant. Third quadrant tan and cot only positive and the fourth quadrant cos and cosecant cos and secant only positive. Here cos x is negative. A negative uh, in this quadrant cos is negative. Even in this quadrant cos is negative. So second quadrant and third quadrant cos is negative. Right. So here we know very well that theta that is equal to pi minus alpha. Today, given theta that is equal to pi minus alpha, here theta that is equal to, since you are given that 0 degree to 30 degree, 360 degree, it is an anticlockwise direction, here you have to consider this is pi plus alpha, no down, here this is 180, pi, pi minus alpha, pi plus alpha, then only you can get the positive angles, remember. Even though I have given here uh, theta that is equal to alpha minus pi, here you have to consider pi plus alpha since angle in anti-clockwise direction. We can prove. So, which one is alpha? Here we have half. Cos 60 degree that is equal to half. We know that cos pi by 3 that is equal to half. So, you have to consider alpha that is equal to pi by 3. So, which implies x that is equal to 
pi minus what is here pi by 3 or x that is equal to pi plus pi by 3 instead of or you have to put on double solution pi minus pi by 3 and pi plus pi by 3 that is equal to 3 into pi 3 pi 3 pi minus pi that is equal to 2 pi by 3 you can directly write here x that is equal to 3 into pi 3 pi 3 pi plus pi that is equal to 4 pi by 3 or you can represent them in a degree pi by 3 equals 60 60 into 2 that is equal to 120 degrees that is equal to pi by 3 that is 60 60 into 4 that is equal to 240 degrees 120 degrees and 240 degrees here we have 180 degrees all the three angles lie in the given interval 0 to 360 degree so that is a solution therefore solution uh, I write them in order first to 120 degrees in case one we got to 180 degrees and 240 degrees or you can represent them in radian 120 degree that is 2 pi by 3 180 that is pi and 240 that is equal to 4 pi by 3. So you may ask that sir you have mentioned theta that is equal to alpha minus pi if we consider theta that is equal to alpha minus pi we will be getting the same 120 degree you can verify now um, when alpha that is equal to pi by 3 theta that is equal to what I mentioned here alpha minus pi alpha minus pi particularly this is in third quadrant that is alpha is pi by 3 minus pi that is equal to pi minus 3 pi that is minus 2 pi by 3 cos of minus 2 pi by 3 therefore cos of minus 2 pi by 3 that is equal to cos of 2 pi by 3 because cos of minus theta that is equal to cos theta so what's the angle here cos 120 degree here it is already we have for getting this angle you have to consider pi plus alpha because you are uh, getting the angle in anti-clockwise direction 0 degree to 360 degree so in this quadrant you have to consider pi minus sorry 0 to 360 degree anti-clockwise direction pi minus alpha here pi plus alpha then only you can get two different angles if we consider alpha minus pi we will be getting the same angle 120 degree so that is the reason of getting theta that is equal to pi plus alpha in third quadrant remember so these are the angles now third subdivision particularly this one is uh, for your reference only no need to write in the examination uh, i do one thing i strike out that one Okay. Now subdivision number 3. Here we have third subdivision. So 2 sin squared x, it comes left hand side minus 3 sin x plus 1 equals 0. Splitting the middle terms, coefficient of sin squared x equals 2, 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 and the coefficient of sin x that is equal to minus 3. Product 2, some minus 3, the two numbers are minus 2 and minus 1. Add together minus 3, multiply the multiply these two numbers will be getting plus 2. Now, 2 sin square x as it is, instead of minus 3x, you can write minus 2 sin x and minus 1 sin x and at the last plus 1 equal to 0. Now, grouping. Uh, between these two, you can take 2 sin x as common, you will be getting sin x minus 1. Here, nothing common, right? So, which is inside the bracket sin x minus 1, you have to write once again sin x minus 1. Since we have minus 3x, you put minus 1 here. Minus 1 into sin x minus sin x minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1, that is equal to 0. Between these two, you can take sin x minus 1 as common. If you take sin x minus 1 as common, we will be having 2 sin x and minus 1, that is equal to 0. So, product of these two equals 0 means sin x minus 1 equal to 0 or 
2 sin x minus 1 equal to 0. Uh, case 1 and case 2. In case 1, take sin x minus 1 equal to 0. Sin x minus 1 equal to 0, which implies sin x that is equal to plus 1, which implies, you know, variable that is pi by 2 sin 90 values 1 therefore x that is equal to pi by 2 or 90 degrees case 2 2 sin x minus 1 equal to 0 here it is 2 sin x minus 1 equal to 0 which implies 2 sin x equals 1 which implies f that is equal to 1 by 2 I mean sin x that is equal to 1 by 2 here sin x is positive value here a s t c here sin is positive here also sin is positive Okay. In this quadrant theta that is equal to alpha, here theta that is equal to pi minus alpha. Okay. So which one is alpha? We know that sin x that is equal to sin pi by 6 that is sin 30 sin 30 that is equal to 1 by 2 so what is given here sin x that is equal to 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 can be replaced by sin 5 by 6 so x that is equal to pi by 6 so let alpha that is equal to pi by 6 now sin x that is equal to sin of so do one thing you write the solution theta that is equal to x that is equal to alpha alpha which implies x that is equal to alpha that is pi by 6 and x that is equal to pi minus alpha pi minus alpha which implies x that is equal to pi minus alpha that is pi by 6 that is equal to 6 into pi 6 pi minus pi 5 pi by 6 finally write the solution solution here pi by 6 that is 30 degrees here pi by 6 that is equal to 30 30 into 5 that is equal to 150 degree solution you can write them in order first 30 degree 90 degree and 150 degrees 30 90 and 150 degree or else you can write them in radian that is pi by 6 this is pi by 2 this one is pi pi by 6 three subdivisions over now subdivision number 4 here we have a fourth subdivision cos 2x here we can apply the formula cos 2a in terms of sign because we have sign in the right hand side cos 2a that is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared a I'm going to apply this formula therefore cos 2x that is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared x that is equal to 1 minus 3 sin x which implies uh, here plus 1 here also 1 get cancelled otherwise write 1 minus 2 sin squared x it comes left hand side minus 1 and plus 3 sin x that is equal to 0. Here plus 1 and minus 1 both get cancelled. So we have minus 2 sin squared x plus 3 sin x that is equal to 0. Minus 2 sin squared x plus 3 sin x that is equal to 0. To uh, take uh, sin x as common, if you take sin x as common, you will be getting minus 2 sin x plus 3 that is equal to 0. 
therefore sin x equal to 0 or minus 2 sin x plus 3 that is equal to 0 here minus 2 sin x plus 3 that is equal to 0 here sin x equal to 0 now case 1 and case 2 case 1 sin x equal to 0 that is a general solution univariable you know, variable x that is equal to n phi where n belongs to a set of all integers here we can consider n equals 0 and 1 only already I told you in the first subdivision when x that is sorry n that is equal to 0 x that is equal to 0 into pi that is equal to 0 or you can write 0 degree when n that is equal to 1 x that is equal to 1 into pi pi or you can write 180 degrees only these two suppose I take n that is equal to 2 we will be getting 2 pi 2 pi that is equal to 360 degree 360 degree is not included in the given interval so I can take n that is equal to 0 and 1 case 1 over now case 2 we have minus 2 sin x plus 3 that is equal to 0 so minus 2 sin x that is equal to plus 3 comes right hand side minus 3 uh, both minus get cancelled so sin x that is equal to 3 by 2 3 by 2 that is 1.5 which is greater than 1 not possible because uh, sin x uh, value lies from minus 1 to plus 1 the least value is minus 1 and the largest highest value is plus 1 only this is not possible to find the solution in this case so finally we have only two solutions only 0 degree and 180 degree solution 0 degree and 180 degree or we can represent them in 0 and pi 0 degree your representation of angle in radian 0 and 180 degree that is equal to pi all the four subdivisions of problem number 2 completed then I will be teaching problem number 3 in the next video. Thank you children.